Growers would ask me, well, how do I know I need a dormant spray? So we came up with this dormant sampling so that you could check the tree to see what it actually had. In the case of prune trees, they still require dormant sprays because of the aphid problem. There's a leaf curl plum aphid and the mealy plum aphid. Um, you can sample the dormant spurs and the little aphid eggs will be right down in here. But it's like finding a needle in a haystack because if you have three aphids on this tree, it'll cause you economic damage. So you ha it, it's very difficult to find them. But if you do find them when you do this sample, it, is, it does show you you have too high a population. And some growers figure out where in their orchards they're on edges that they can look for them or, or they can use that to the sampling system to determine whether they need to spray for them. But the other insects that you're looking for is the San Jose scale, which can, can cause severe problems with prunes and the um, overwintering mite eggs. Not the two spot mites, it's not the mites that cause the most damage, but the overwintering European red mite and brown almond mite. All those are on there. Now, we found out that in prunes that if you don't spray any um, broad spectrum pesticides in the summertime, your San Jose scale will be under biological control. So the other thing you can monitor with the dormant spur sample is the biological control. Mealy plum aphid eggs are black and laid near buds. These San Jose scales are in the black cap stage. San Jose scales parasitized the previous season will have a round hole where the adult parasite emerged. European red mite eggs are red and have a long projection. Brown mite eggs are similar but don't have a projection. European fruit lecanium overwinter as nymphs. All the insects don't live even in the tree. And a lot of them, some of them will be in the center of the tree. So you want to collect some spurs from the center of the tree. And you want to cat, get some old wood like this. This is newer wood. This is older wood. Parasitized San Jose scale will be on the older wood. And usually we like to sample five spurs on a tree. So you get a couple from the inside. And then you kind of move your way outside to get some from the outside. This burr here is mostly new wood and the San Jose scale likes is you usually find that because it was from last summer. It's not a live San Jose scale. You'll find the scale and you'll find the little hole where the, the um, little parasite chewed its way out. And if you see those, then you know you have biological control in your orchard. And the other way to tell if you have biological control in your orchard is to put out a San Jose scale trap because you catch both the males and you catch the biological control. So here is where you look, find the San Jose scale. Inside here, the buds, you find the aphids right down in there. You can use a hand lens and look at them and see what you find. If you get the spur in the sun, you can see it a lot better. The little you can also take your samples to the lab. If you can't get to your samples for a day or two, or you want to save them for a meeting, put them in a plastic bag with a moist and paper towel. For more information, visit the Prune Pest Management Guidelines Dormant Spur Sample page.